Welcome to the Wayward Widow. It's humid. It's also Friday morning. My water's nice and drippy. Someone asked me um, where I got my cards. This was from a couple videos ago. I just, um, and all I can tell you is the cards were a gift and the company is Mesmos. Um, Mesmos 52 Mindfulness Self-Care Cards designed in Argentina, made in China. And that's what it says on the back. So look up Mesmos, M-E-S-M-O-S. -S, and hopefully you'll be able to find them. Um, I'm looking in here. Okay. You can, if you have any questions or feedback, email us at support at mesmos.com. Um, and they appreciate an honest review on Amazon. So I'm going to guess this came from Amazon with lots of love, K&P, the Mesmos ladies. So Amazon, Mesmos mindfulness cards. I hope that helps you. Uh, I want to thank the person who left the comment. Um, with the whole Gallic, Gallic versus Gaelic. Uh, my understanding is, and I might be wrong, uh, Irish is Gaelic with a long A and Scottish is Gallic. And I looked it up a couple different ways today and Sky and I actually had a couple discussions about that because I was saying Gaelic and he said, no poet, that's for Irish. It's Gallic, Gat or Gaelic um, for Scottish. So Scottish is what we've been studying. So, um, my understanding is it's Gallic and I love the language, even though I'm horrible at it and he was amazing at it, but I'm horrible at it. But anyway, so that's my understanding might be wrong. I don't know, but I went on 10 different Google sites and everyone said that Gaelic gay G A long A is Irish and that's not what I'm studying, but thank you for your input. Anyway, how's everybody doing? How's everybody doing? If you're in Eagle Eye, you'll have noticed that I deleted the last two videos. And those last two videos had to do with me moving forward and wanting to date. And I deleted the videos mainly because, only because of a comment that someone put out um, that I actually pinned. And then I just decided after about an hour let's just not leave the videos up. Uh, a lot was said in her comment. And um, so I'm just going to put even the thought of dating, even the thought so far on the back burner, you can't even reach it. Um, I'm in this apartment until next year. And I'm doing my best. Everything's caught up. All my bills and stuff are caught up and I'm doing my best. I really am. Um, and I am lonely and I would like to have someone to add to what I can give out. Um, I'm not looking for someone to keep me or, you know, but I can say that what I would look for in uh, a potential future mate. And I think we all do that, you know, make lists or whatever. What are you looking for? based on what you've, you've already been through, like the people you've known, good qualities, bad qualities, you know, qualities you wouldn't go for again, qualities you would go for again. So I think we all make those lists. And so I said a few of what I would look for. Um, I realized, definitely realized that I'm older. Um, chances of me meeting anyone are very slim to none. I understand that. And I don't have anything to offer anybody. I don't have money. I don't have, um, you know, I don't have anything, I guess. So after reading your comment, um, it made me realize that I'm not, um, I'm not one that somebody would want plain and simple. Um, so I'm just going to stay here with me and enjoy my company. And, uh, it's a big world right? It's a really big world. And, um, when I met Sky, he had nothing. He had nothing. And, um, 
I just I fell for Sky for for Sky. Um, for you know who he was and all that. And he came up here and he, you know, he worked hard and I kind of nudged him along and it all worked out. But um, he didn't have anything when I met him. Like, but there was that connection, you know. And right now, um, I'm here until next year. And then the goal is, the plan is, the plan is, to leave here, which is very high priced for me by myself, and get a little efficiency, a little one room uh, in a neighboring town that's much cheaper and that I can totally take care of myself. That's the, that's the plan. And then maybe at that point, um, you know, I'll be, I'll have more to put into a relationship and um, yeah so that's where I am with that and most people my age um, would have families all grown up and yeah I would definitely definitely be okay with someone who has kids and grandkids and great grandkids um, but I also know there's a million fractured families in this world, a million. Um, Google it, YouTube it. Uh, families aren't all super tight anymore, and that's the way it is. Uh, if you have a super tight family, I'm good for you. Um, you're, you know, you're lucky and you're blessed, and that's all I can say about that. But um, I'm, not, I'm not looking for anybody to take care of my son. My son's got to take care of himself. I did enough of that taking care of him and now I got to take care of me he's got to take care of him and that's that so uh, I feel like by being honest and saying you know this is where I am and this is this is really hard and it's really lonely and um, and it is really hard and it is really lonely you know that's not a lie that's I'm not it's hard and sky was sick for a really long time and um, uh, you know so would I like to have someone come into my life to add to who I am yeah it would be nice will that ever happen maybe not maybe not I mean thinking of you know as you put it my my financial uh, mess and my emotional mess and the fact that my kids don't talk to me <laughs> um, probably no one's gonna want me so you know I'm looking at all those words and I'm going yeah she's probably right probably no one is gonna want me so get comfortable with yourself poet and that's what I intend to do. So today, I went out for just a little while. I got paperwork done. I was lucky enough to get a ride. Very much appreciated. I got my paperwork done, and I did not get a phone. Uh, I made the decision when looking at numbers and things that that wasn't necessary, that I keep what I have, and I work with what I have. I don't need to change anything up at this point. And I think that was a good decision. So down the road, maybe I can make a change. Right now, it's not the time. And so, yeah, so that's where I am with that. I fooled with my puzzle for a little bit. I talked with my son for a little bit. And uh, I don't know for the rest of the day. Um, I. I'm thinking about uh, I watched a video this morning actually uh, a man who is retired and he talks about decluttering and decluttering a year after he moved into his mom's basement and into her basement apartment and he said you know it's a year later and I kind of have to go through things again so that made me think about my apartment 
and where I am and what do I have here? What do I use? What do I need? I hear the ice cream man. The ice cream man's coming up the street. Um, what, what can I get rid of? What can I donate to Goodwill? Um, do I need everything I have? And I did pare down quite a bit. Uh, and so that's something that I will do. I'll go through um, like dishes and stuff and just kind of see, do I need to hold on to that many with it being just me? Uh, someone commented and said, you know, you don't need to get rid of Sky's things. Oh, I'm not. I'm not. He had a decent amount of clothing. I had to buy clothing a couple sizes bigger than what he would normally wear because of the ease of getting things over his head and into and his arms into the sleeves and things like that. And um, so over time, you know, washing and drying them, they shrunk down some. And there was a lot of clothing in there. And I told my son that if he wanted any of the shirts, um, I took out all the special ones and I have them in my closet. I have Skye's robe hanging on the back of my door. I have his favorite hats, two of them, his favorite gloves, two pair, and um, a whole bunch of other things that he collected over time that aren't going anywhere. They'll stay with me the rest of my life. And then, you know, I don't know what will happen to those things, but, uh, no, his, his important things are here with me and they'll stay with me. Being a widow or being the one left behind is tricky. It's tricky. You don't know when you're supposed to do what and what you're supposed to do with what and who to call when you just need someone to talk to and um, it's it's across the board it's tricky so when I put the video out about moving forward and dating I thought am I ready I think I am and I looked at and I even talked to someone close to me about you know my situation like with my son who's not ever going to move in here that that man is never going to move in here to save his soul because he doesn't want me looking over his shoulder <laughs> to be honest um, so so that's not a thing that's not a thing um, but you know, we talked about my anxiety and my panic and can someone deal with that? It can be hard. It's hard for me. So if it's hard for me, it's going to be hard for somebody else. Uh, Sky didn't understand it at first, but as he, you know, saw my moments where I struggled, he realized he had the same condition. And I'm hearing more and more men opening up their mouths and talking about the fact that they have the same condition where men don't talk about things like that too often. Um, women are more apt to talk about that, but men don't. Men have a lot of their own stuff too, but that doesn't mean that they have unkind hearts, you know? Uh, so I thought about where I am financially and it's tough. It's tough when you go from two incomes to one. And a lot of us have done that. Uh, a lot of widows and widowers go from two to one income. And then you have to make the changes along with it. So for me, the changes will come about in April. And I'll downsize to as tiny a space as I can, can. So that I can completely afford everything and possibly get a, a used car so that I can get around a little bit. I don't go many places, you guys know that. But, um, and have more, more stability. And so that I can be confident in if I ever put myself out there. Because I gotta admit your comment, for my friend who commented, you, you, you made me a little um, uh, unsure of myself about who I am, like across the board, you made me very unsure of myself. And so 
and I love my kids and I wish that there was a different situation and even with my sisters but that's you know that's a story for me and and my and my family and I'm not gonna talk about something that I don't have the right to talk about you know um, it's not all my story it's other people's story too so that's why a lot of people don't talk about the fractures in their family because it involves other people too and then that's their story you know and for my kids I've talked a little bit about the fracture and I watched one woman one day and she was so bluntly honest about the fracture with her son that her son just will not speak to her and she told what happened in her life I'm dripping with her son across the board and I can say you know my daughter my one daughter just won't talk to me because I'm talking to my son and believe me I have the ups and downs with my son because things are things are rough even with as sick as he is things are rough um, he has a lot of stuff too that he's carrying from his time in jail and that too could be hard for someone a, a potential partner it was hard for Sky Sky and Kenny did not get along Sky would not talk to Kenny they had very little interaction and so you know I'm very much aware of that like I am very aware that I'm not someone that anybody's gonna want <laughs> those were some hard words to speak I understand my anxiety and my panic would scare anybody away I understand that the fact that I have one income and I'm on disability would scare most people away the fact that I don't have my own car would scare most people away um, the fact that I'm on a benzodiazepine would scare most people away the fact that I see a therapist would scare most people away I get the fact that I'm not someone that men would be lining up to be in my life I get that I really get that now after your comment because I had to like pull myself way back and I had to think about everything you said and I'm like nobody's gonna want me like you know nobody wants a train wreck so so what do I do with my life well I go through the apartment keep it neat keep it clean pay my bills do a little decluttering because there's a few things I could do there I have some hobbies um, get through this lease time the best I can get through it and find myself a nice little efficiency um, and make things like nice and cozy figure out where I am emotionally at that point you know and um, just keep working on myself to figure out what I'm afraid of like where does the fear come in what can I do to minimize that what can I do to minimize the loneliness that I feel and um, you know I realize that I've had that kind of feeling even when I was married there's this internal loneliness in me and I think I've had it pretty much my whole life so I get through my days I get through my days and there's a very good probability that I will be alone with just me the rest of my life and I'm facing that now with as much as I don't want to face that uh, I'm facing it um, sometimes somebody has to get right up in your face and say nobody's gonna want you and then you got to go okay well I've got this wrong this wrong this wrong this wrong yes yeah, she's probably right nobody's gonna want me so let's get comfortable with just me and um, and you and with you guys you know so took the dating apps down won't talk about that ever again and I'll be much more careful what I say 
what I say on here, I'll be much more guarded, much more careful, much, much more, you know, close to the chest with this channel. And, um, that's the way I think it should be because when you have a YouTube channel, you're opening yourself up to the whole world. And that means you're going to get some good and you're going to get some bad and you're going to get some kind and you're going to get some ugly and everybody who does YouTube goes through it. Um, there's some amazing, the kindest people in the world have some of the ugliest, video, ugliest comments put on their channel. And that's just how it goes when you put yourself out there and you're being completely vulnerable. And so you're, you're almost kind of asking to get slapped and that happens. So that's that. I'm going to go, I'm going to finish water. I'm going to go around through the apartment. I'm going to see what I can get into. Um, and I don't know what that looks like for me right now. I have a lot of thinking to do <laughs> after the, after the, that comment, it, it just, it sunk into me so deep. Um, like really deep, like it hit me harder than anything anybody has ever said to me. And, um, you kind of have to think like, why am I here? Like, if I'm that awful, why am I here even? You know, that's a, that's a thought in my head. Um, why am I here if I'm this awful? I've been thinking a lot about that. So, uh, I have a lot to decide on and think through and, and that's it. I, I'm going to go and get through the rest of my day and thank you for being here and, um, yeah thanks for being here and um i'll be back i don't know when might take me a few days might take me a few days just to absorb you know everything that i'm feeling right now and that's okay it's a good thing it's a good thing to process other people's thoughts ask yourself what's what's truth and what isn't and just try to figure out where you are in life and what what you can do for yourself and, um, and yeah, and I appreciate the fact that you said, you know, you have it all together with job, finances, house, kids, all that. And you find it hard at 60 to, you know, find a decent, respectable man. So I'm thinking if you have it all together and you can't find a decent, kind, respectable man, like, it's like, there's no hope. <laughs> There's no kind, decent, respectable men out there at all. That's a sobering thought. I don't know. I'm going in a thousand directions with my thoughts. And I guess, you know, when we lose someone and everything changes up, we maybe we don't know what we're doing half the time. And the other half of the time, we think we know what we're doing. I don't know. I'm going to go. You guys take care.